In this video, I will show you how to generate helical winding patterns using the coverage path panel in Taniquant Pro. During this video, I will be generating several winding patterns on the shown pressure vessel profile using a 6mm wide carbon tape. I will start by opening the coverage path panel. In this panel, we can directly see all the parameters required to generate both geodesic and non-geodesic winding paths. With all these parameters combined in one panel, it becomes easy to make design trade-offs and to iterate on a made design. I will start by showing the generation of a geodesic winding pattern. We will begin by turning off both left and right turnaround zones. Now we can design the geodesic winding path in the path parameter section of the panel. Here we can set the winding angle at the specified reference point, after which the software will give the resulting polar opening based on the profile. It is also possible to set this polar opening to be for example 50 mm with a lower tolerance of 0 mm after which the software calculates the winding angle at the reference point to be 31.2 degrees. With this geodesic path fully defined, we can continue to the pattern search section of the panel. In this section, we can set the desired coverage and the desired dwell, both with tolerances. For this demonstration, I will be looking for a pattern with 200% coverage with a lower tolerance of minus 2% and an upper tolerance of 0% to prevent the tape from overlapping. For the dwell, I will be looking for patterns with a 0 degree dwell with a lower tolerance of 0 degrees and an upper tolerance of 3 degrees. In the generate by drop down menu, we can set one of the parameters to be the predominant design parameter to be used in the generation of the patterns. We can choose between coverage, winding angle at the reference point and dwell. For this demonstration, I will use the coverage. With the parameters in the pattern search section set, we can compute to find the available patterns. These available patterns are shown in the available pattern section and can be sorted by coverage, winding angle at the reference point, dwell, pattern number and lead lag. For this demonstration, I will be sorting for dwell. We can see that the software found two, two patterns with zero degrees dwell, both with slightly different winding angles and coverages. By selecting these patterns, we can see different plots with information on the pattern. We can look at the single path generated by the settings in the path parameter section. We can also look at the completed winding pattern We can visualize the tape placement on the profile and we can look at the winding angle distribution over the profile. In here we can see the 90 degree winding angle at the polar opening and the 31.5 degrees winding angle on the cylinder. We can see all this information for all the available patterns. For generating a non-geodesic winding pattern, we use the turnaround zones in which we can set either a maximum friction or a maximum in-plane curvature. In this case, we can wind with a lower winding angle on the cylinder by using friction on the domes. These turnaround zones can be set in the 2D profile plot by either clicking on the points on the profile or by filling in a value for either the z-coordinate or the radius. We can set a maximum friction value which gives an indication into how likely a tape is to slip during winding or we can set a maximum in-plane curvature which gives an indication on how likely the tape is to wrinkle at the inside of the bend. For this demonstration I will set the maximum friction to be 0.3. With the left side set we can either use the same settings on the right side turnaround zone but we can also choose to generate an asymmetric winding pattern by setting different parameters or by completely turning off the right side turnaround zone. 
generating a geodesic winding section on the right side. For this demonstration, I will generate a symmetrical winding pattern and thus set the parameters for both zones to be the same. With this parameter set, we can set the winding angle at the reference point in the path parameter section. We will use the same pattern search parameters for the compute of the available patterns. The available patterns are directly sorted by dwell, and it can be seen that the software found 8 available patterns with 0 degree dwell, all with slightly different parameters. With the non-geodesic patterns, we can see the used friction in both turnaround zones and can again pick a pattern of our liking. If we found the pattern we want to use in our design, we can select the pattern and press on OK to assign it to the layer, after which the design for the product can continue with other paths or layers. This is the end of the coverage path panel demonstration video. If you are interested in other highlighted feature videos, these can be found at the Tanik YouTube channel.